Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Carib Spice. Thank you so much for tuning in. So recently I put out a poll on Instagram and on YouTube. So if you're not familiar, YouTube now has this community setting where you can post pictures or a preview, even a poll. And I asked you guys, how have you been? And I gave you three options. And the vast majority of you said that you were not panicked, but you were being mindful and you were concerned with what was going on in our world today. So we're all aware that we're going through a pandemic, um, COVID-19. And with that, we have been experiencing a lot of anxieties due to mass hysteria. Now, my purpose in today's video is to share with you how I'm coping, to share with you specific things that I've been doing. Um, because as you know, I struggle with anxiety. I came on my channel, I made several videos on my anxiety symptoms, I made several videos on how I'm managing my anxiety. Um, there is no shame in that and I felt like this is a good time to share with you, especially if you are at home with the kids. You know, I'm a teacher, I teach uh, high school, I teach uh, chemistry and unfortunately we have not been back. We don't know when we're going to be back. I know there are several districts that have already decided to not reopen school for the rest of the year. So with that comes a lot of adjustments as well. And I'm also a mom. I have a toddler who goes to preschool. And even though her school remains open because it's a preschool and a daycare, I have opted to keep her home. Given all that has been going on in our world, um, it's very easy for our anxieties to be ramped up at this point in time. And if you already struggle with anxiety, like I do, um, this is not gonna be any kind of easy process. Just managing from day to day can be very overwhelming. Uh, these anxieties come from mass hysteria. It comes from um, struggles with being in isolation because you know we're supposed to be practicing good social distancing. And um, you know, for several people, this has been very disruptive in their financial stability. There were people who were laid off, um, people who um, struggle with working from home. Uh, if you are used to that sort of um, lifestyle where you work from home and you can thrive in those conditions and just thrive working in your own environment, great. But there are people who truly struggle with that adjustment as well. And then several people do have children. And so there's that worry about what's going to happen to the kids. And there are kids that, are, you know, they worry being away from school because for several students, for several of the kids out there, school is actually a safe haven. It's the one place they can go to and feel like they belong. Um, I know there were cases of um, reported or increased uh, child abuse reports and that is very unfortunate and that could go back to several things. It could also mean um, parents are just having a really hard time. So my personal take on this is that, you know, even after the pandemic um, would have died down, because it will at some point in time, there is this uh, secondary issue of mental health and recuperation that we'll have to deal with. Um, I praise uh, apps like Calm, and um, just general businesses that are trying to do a lot and put out resources out there for people to learn how to manage stress and anxiety um, because we need it in this time. So um, as a full disclaimer, I'm not immune to any of those feelings. I too am stressed. Whatever you're feeling, you're not alone. Sometimes I feel like when we're going through something, especially really high anxiety we feel like we're the only ones but remember this is a pandemic so it means that the entire world is feeling this as well um i can talk to you in the capacity of mother in the capacity of um teacher and just in the capacity of being a wife just being at home it is very 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 stressful uh, some things that I noticed with me, so what I'm showing is really personal. I noticed that I had an increase in tinnitus um, when my anxiety went up 
and that was very very um prominent in the last two three weeks so i would hear the throbbing literally feel the throbbing in my ears um my blood pressure escalates ever so often you know um and also my sleep has been disrupted and it's all because i have this worry this concerns the you know the unanswered questions on my mind and this is where anxiety takes you so for the rest of the video i want to offer you some ideas some things that i do i'm not an expert i'm not a therapist um, but these are things that i've learned uh, over the last year or so and those things have been very helpful and i'm putting them into practice because you know what i honestly need to do that now more than ever so i don't i don't break and so that i can take care of myself and my own all right so one thing that i do every day is to try to keep up with some sort of routine now had I not been on this extended break, because it really felt like we came on spring break and then there was this extended break, I would have had a routine anyway. As I said, I teach at a high school, I teach chemistry, so during the work week, I would have sort of like the same schedule, give or take, okay? So now that I'm home with my toddler and on this extended period of um, leave, even though I'm still working due to the pandemic, I still maintain a routine so I get up I do what I need to do around the house so chores um, I may work out because of course the gyms they're closed they're all closed I will work on some curriculum with uh, Ebony so I do curriculum twice a day with her and I do have a schedule as well maybe one day I can share exactly what I do with Ebony um, I also have a small business, so I tend to that for some part of the day as well. And then, guess what? I still have to teach. I still have to communicate with my students um, via online teaching. And so um, we are required to do a certain number of hours a week. We are required to meet weekly as a team. Every content has a team. Um, so we are requ required to fulfill these commitments just as we would if we were back on um, at our physical campus. So having a routine really helps me to stay on track and really keeps me occupied. And of course, if I'm occupied, my mind is most likely occupied with the right things. The second thing that I do is that I make sure to have some downtime for myself. I feel like when we set aside time for ourselves, um, we're somewhat made to feel a little bit guilty about that, but we all know what we can carry. We all know our mental capacity, and I'm the type of personality, I need a lot of breaks in order to not become overwhelmed. In order for me to be a very good mother, a very good friend, a good wife, a good teacher, you know, in order for me to be the best at the different roles that I have to fulfill, I need to have downtime. So my downtime um, can easily look like, okay, 20, 30 minutes of me time. So in a separate room where I can just lay down and breathe and not do anything, not have my phone, not have Abney, not just me, myself and I in that space. Um, to kind of unwind. Um, I may also journal. I really enjoy putting my thoughts, um, writing out my thoughts and going back like a year or so later and reading some of the things that I've experienced at the time. So journaling just helps me to express myself without having to say it out loudly, you know, because sometimes you don't want to do that, but that really helps me to get all of my thoughts out and it gives me... Um, a, like a space to just breathe and to be honest and open. And then downtime can also look like a pampering session. You know, I'm not going to get my nails done or my hair done or anything like that right now. So I'm looking at a lot of DIYs. I'm trying to figure out a lot of things regarding myself. I do make skincare products. So I know I have some amazing sugar scrubs and there are times when, you know, times when I'm in the shower and I will just treat myself a little bit more and just have that to myself. I feel like when I do something for myself, I'm truly taking care of myself. And I really, really have to be proactive. You know, I really have to 
be intentional about it. Um, so as I mentioned, I do have to give instruction online. So the third thing I do is that when I know I'm um, meeting with my students, so I have a tutorial online or I'm meeting with my um, colleagues for an online meeting, I actually get dressed up. I get up, I put on my makeup, I put on professional attire, I make sure my background is not this, but I do have we have an office, but I like, you know, changing around the environment, but wherever I feel like being, you know, that day or in that moment, I make sure to have everything that says she's a professional. So I get up, I dress up, and I make sure my workspace is also professional looking. And that just helps me to hold myself accountable as well. Um, the fourth, uh, thing that I do, and you know, everyone is struggling with this a little bit, social distancing. Um, some people are for it and some people are against it because I feel like not everyone understands exactly what social distancing is, but it is so important to practice social distancing to give our healthcare system a chance to catch up and breathe. If we're overwhelming our healthcare system, then we're not going to bounce back from this pandemic as we should. I mean, I personally want to make it to summer, okay? I personally want to be out there to enjoy the rest of spring. But if we are not respecting the fact that there is an on, you know, you cannot see this virus, you cannot see viruses, you know, there's something out there that is really rocking the world right now. Um, and if you're not um, disciplined enough to um, just keep yourself away from people for a while, we can be in this for the long haul. We can be in this for a long, long, long time. So um, a lot of people struggle with that. But we can also use social media to our advantage. We can have video chats. We can do, I see a lot of my friends doing these group challenges. Um, what else? I see, um, of course, there are a lot of memes, but you can get very creative on social media to stay connected. For me, um, I like waking up in the morning and seeing a good morning message from my mom, or I will send her something in the morning um, just to make her laugh throughout the day. And in that way, we're still connected. Or even my friends who live in the area, I would send them something and I know that we're still connected. You know, it's a time where we have to come together by being apart. That's simply just, that's the simplest way I can put it. So it's not punishment, you know, it is just a time to really flatten that curve and give the healthcare system that chance, that break that they need. So we're also helping them as well so that they can help us in return. Um, a few more things that I do. Um, the single most important thing for me is just giving myself space from social media um, there's a lot of information out there and you do have to remain informed. You do have to educate yourself. But I feel like um, sometimes we take everything and anything um, without caution. And so that creates a lot of hysteria, a lot of stresses, a lot of anxiety for people um, who are unable to decipher what's legit and valid as opposed to what's not. Now, on that note, um, I found a couple of free online courses to help pass my time. So even though I'm really involved with work and online teaching and with Abney and trying to keep her on task and reaching her milestones and so on, I, I too am investing in myself by taking these online courses with um, some schools. Like right now I'm enrolled in a marketing class with Penn State. And the reason I'm doing that, I have a business and I thought, okay, instead of doing something along the lines of biology and chemistry, biochemistry, um, maybe I can invest this time into advancing my skills and my knowledge and so in the field of business. So I decided to take an intro to marketing course. Ron, my husband, is also brushing up on his skills. He's deep into a computer science course right now. Ron has an engineering degree but he's also using the opportunity to brush up his skills. And I, you know, that is just one way I'm being productive as well. So um, finding online courses, even new hobbies, new skills, you know, 
Um, there's this joke on social media that a lot of people right now, they're going to have to improve their cooking skills because everyone is cooped up in the same place or space. Um, and you know, even though there's this, um, it feels like a darkness right now, it also gives us an opportunity to connect with our family because we're all in the same space. We're together for longer per periods of time. So it could be an opportunity to get to know your family a little bit better and to build and make memories, um, you know, during what seems to be a very dark time. And lastly, of course, you guys know I'm going to say exercise. I like um, the fact that I do have equipment at, at home. I can get out in my yard. When you say social distancing, it doesn't mean that you cannot go outside. I do look outside with my daughter. Um, I do work out in my garage. I do work out inside. But that is another way to just help me to feel better about all that we're going through right now. And I don't regret, I don't ever regret a workout. You know, my daughter always jumps in. She's funny. She's my hype girl. You know, she pushes me and encourages me. But it's a great way for me to bond with her as well. So these are just the things that I do to kind of manage my anxiety. These are things that you can do as well. Um, there are tons of information out there. I'll try to put some links that I find to be very useful. Um, of course, I um, had to learn how to just shut down and go to bed in a timely manner and also improve my diet you know these are all the things that i do just to help me feel better and to help me manage my anxiety um during this pandemic so that's it guys i hope you appreciate the video and until next time peace um leave a comment below let me know what you do and um i like reading your comments okay but i do look forward to seeing you in the next one bye